read. There we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hukalo TV, located at www.humancolony.org. This is um, our regular Saturday webinar. It is June 20th, 2015. Our guests in the webinar today are Casey, Rowie, James, of course, Jim, uh, Shin is here, um, Nirvana is here, Sabrina is here, back from Machu Picchu, more on that momentarily, Shron is here, Stephen is here, Zaneda is here, and myself, Guru Dan, is here. have a couple of announcements. First announcement, the Crystal Healers of Gaia event, Summer Solstice, scheduled for tomorrow, Sunday, June 21st, um, at 5 p.m., your time zone. So it's, it's, it's intended this be a worldwide meditation at 5 p.m., your time zone, whichever you would um, like to do a meditation or something to uh, help the planet out or yourself or both. Um, the next announcement is the uh, Close Encounters of the Eighth Kind Interactive Online Event, Saturday, June 20th. That's today, after this webinar, from 12 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, United States, featuring Chris Teresa, Rob Gaithier, and Jim Charles, our Jim right there. For $30 for four hours of channeling, tickets can be purchased at www.trebchanneling.com slash events slash online. Information can also be found at uh, www.humancolony.org. Um, as always, donations are always accepted for the administration of the group. Uh, that information can also be found at humancolony.org. I think it's under the donation tab there on the site. And that's what I have for announcements today. I will pass this over to Rui for his things. Thank you, Dan. That's a beautiful intro. So a very warm welcome to everybody today. I want to wish everybody a very, very happy solstice since it's that time of year again. So everybody in the Northern Hemisphere, summer solstice and everybody in the southern hemisphere happy winter solstice so I just wanted to give that and welcome back to Sabrina she's got a little bit of a cold today so I'm, I'm taking over a little bit here but she has lots of questions we also have with Jim today I think he's got nine people in the room so I would like just to hand it over to Jim and if you want to do an introductions to everybody ten or two yeah. hands <laughs> <laughs> and a thumb Hello. <laughs> yes, there's nine people, and with myself, it's ten. So I have Raymond and Barbara and Mark and Francine and Helga and, and Barbara, another Barbara, and Sandy and Angie. And who's this guy? Will. Okay. Yes, we have a, a full house today, and it's beautiful. I just wanted to correct one thing. The uh, the uh, uh, event starts at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and goes to 6:30. They've added a half an hour because I think Kalina is going to be doing some things as well. So so but, so it's really worth the thirty dollars if you want to do four and a half hours of of different kinds of channeling, and it, I'm sure it'll be entertaining as well because they're going to do all kinds of things. I'm not even sure of the entire program except that I'm first. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll have to go and look at the itinerary, but I only look at that at the last minute because it changes so many times. So, uh, very good. Uh, love you all and welcome everybody. And um, is there any requests? I know that uh, Slava has requested to occur. I there's other requests for Metatron. Just to this morning, Metatron and Rujan and a few others. But if if there's any requests out there today, uh, please let me know now. Arcturians, Pandorians. Arcturians, okay. Anybody else? There's one alien who is the commander of the fleet, an elephant 
band he's called? His name is uh, he's an elephant man. He's an elephant man? Yeah, we we talked about him. Remember? Yes, but I don't know his name. Oh, I think I can remember. <laughs> if she can remember his name. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Otherwise, I'm just going to do uh, uh, a short prayer for today. I, I, like, I want to start off with a short prayer today because it is such a wonderful time of the year. It's the summer solstice. It's uh, just after the new moon. It's a renewing time. It's a beautiful time. It's a healing time. It's a, it's a time for rejuvenation. Uh, in in almost every every aspect, body, mind, soul, spirit. So I'm going to take one moment and do a small prayer, and I'm just going to say thank you, Mother, Father, God, all those that are helping us today, all those that are involved in this. I consider it a sort of a ministry of sorts because it does healing, it does uh, help, it does whatever it needs to do for the people around it. And I just am very blessed to be here today with you all. So uh, thanks a lot. And, um, and thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone that helps. And I feel a very special energy today. It's really, really quite nice. And I'm sure it's due partly to the solstice and partly to the fact that there's so many good people sitting around me with great energy. So... <laughs> I, I just wanted to say that. So um, much love to you all, and uh, I'll be back in a little while. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jim, I just wanted to make sure I, I requested Takur because Slava has questions for her. Takur has promised to come first. Very good. Okay. Um, oh, Jim, yeah. Just a, a little thing. Um, I don't know if it's me. Is there any feedback coming from your end at all? Feedback. Anybody hear feedback? Not here. Okay, good. I, yeah. Right. Since when Sabrina spoke, do, there was a little bit. I do hear feedback. Um, is it from me? Hmm. It seems Let's okay check now. That out. That's strange. That's strange. Three speakers. Yours and Jim's and uh, Sabrina's. Three at a time. Do you hear feedback now? Oh, I hear uh, echo now. That's that's so good. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's fine. That's towards a tiny bit, but it might be just because the the loudness of your speakers in the room. Could you turn down the speakers just a touch? Oh, he's turning them down now. Just a tiny bit, thanks. His name is George. George. It, it's it's okay now. It's okay now. I think his the feedback is gone. Okay. Is that is that is that good now? One, yes, two. Jim. Alrighty yeah. then. Let us continue. <laughs> <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> Technical issues aside. All right, and there another request for a George, who is a commander of a ship, who is an elephant man. A whole fleet. I'm sorry. Oh no, my god, my computer is acting funny. Okay, I will see you in a little bit. Okay, Jim.
Yaka car. Toria car. Yaku. I am Takar. Greetings, Takar. How are you today? Ah, greetings. There are many here today. Greetings, Takar. Greetings. It is lovely to see you all. Thank it's beautiful you. to have you with us once again. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is always lovely to be around your positive energy. It is a wonderful time. At this time, I feel that there are many questions, so I will let them ask. Sabrina. Okay, I will start. Bear with me here that I'm checking. Okay. <clears throat> this is from Slava Tukar. Yes, I hear him often. Um, he said, Tukar, did you receive my last letter to you about Lyran and Syrian hybrid children. It was about March 30th. It has been a while. Yes, and your mother also would like hybrid children, and it is being done at this time. She will have one in incubation, a Lyran child, within the next few weeks. It has been very busy, so we could had to delay some. Also, your Lyran hybridization is almost complete. Okay. Um, he also said, I would also like to ask if appropriate, do you have any news? Oh, okay, you just said it for my mother or for me about hybrid children. All right. Yeah. Um, your mother's hybrid child will be coming very shortly. It is in process of being incubated in that sense. It's given to a Lyran mother who she requested to have a Lyran child. Your children are doing well. Anna is wonderful and is bright and intelligent and is a definitely a special child with technical abilities above and beyond her age. She is also able to do video work already and she is not that old. She is helping in Colony 3 already at a very very young age because her abilities are so great and her ideas are so pure. Um, he also, <clears throat> his mother also wanted to know about what she's doing in the colonies if she's going. She has gone once and she has gone to the telepathic colony and she is doing well. She has doubts about her own abilities but let her know that she is doing well and that we can use her in many ways when first contact comes. Yeah, because she says she remembers um, children and then she remembers she filmed something on a camera and she remembers a woman to take to do an interview or take an interview that was an introductory interview because she was it was her first time they, they just were telling her what to expect and all the different things that she may see and not to be disturbed by them to comfort her a little we give an introduction and answer questions that they may have coming to the colonies for the very first time okay um, he also said that on April 7th, he remembered a little child kiss him and kiss him many times, and it was nice. It was a boy, and it was very young and beautiful. Yes. Every now and then we take Slava to the Aaron colony where the nursery is. We have several of different human colony personnel that go there and watch the children especially those that are loving to children and Slava definitely loves his children and so we take him there. They love to see the humans and it is good for them to be around humans because when first contact comes 
it will be important that they know what they look like and what kind of essence they have as they were touched and caressed by humans. He also asked about Targa and if you could if you have any news about him, if he's still in the ship. He is still in the ship. Doing well. I do not have any personal contact with him recently, but he is doing well. I will try to contact him for you and get a message to you. Um, uh, he also wanted to know if Anna, um, does she only have human DNA or anyone else's? She has Yugil DNA as well. Because he said, I asked because there is one girl, Anna, to which I'm grateful for her presence in my life. I wonder yeah. if that daughter has awesome. her DNA. Yes, it is your DNA and her DNA and that of you, Gil. So it is very human looking because humans are 97% of what you, Gil, are or vice versa. They contain 97% of each other. In DNA, that is. Um, then he also said, I believe recently in June I met a girl, but I am not sure if it was a daughter. The feeling from her was like from a woman, very strong and intense. It was not a daughter. You were being contacted by someone from other than this ship. So I will have to look into that, but it was not any of your daughters, or else I would have been aware of it. Okay. That was it for Slava. Very good. There are other questions. Yes, there was from Max. Yes. Um, parallel evolution. The dinosaurs appear on all planets at about the same time and then were placed by mammals are about the same time and then humans appear on planets at the galaxy are about the same time so he's 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 presenting to different theorists and he wants to know which one is the closest it um, is true that there has been similar occasions with other planets other than earth with the dinosaur rising and then being obliterated by whatever solar or natural disaster that comes along. The reason for that is because evolution for dinosaurs was very difficult. They grew very quickly, evolved very quickly, and could not sub sustain their uh, lifespan when there was any problems with the, the Earth, meaning that if there was a meteorite that darkened the sky, it would not take long even though the sky was darkened for several months, it only took a matter of weeks for them to die off or to become in numbers because they were not strong in that way. They did not have uh, a lot of protection inwardly. So... Okay. Other than that, there are other planets, yes, but that is a long discussion because not all did not all planets evolved the same way. The seeded planets have different evolutions than others. There are some planets that have actual aboriginal persons only on their planet, and therefore it is not as diverse or varied. However, the different aspects of the light from their different suns does produce different qualities in personality and in looks and in the way they evolve with the eyes and mostly with the sensory developments. Does that make sense to you? It is hard for me to describe because I usually do not go into scientific things with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. I, I believe Francine has a question. 
Yes, she is in the room. Hi, Sakura. So, so they can listen. Um, Sakura, I was wondering, how would one know if they had a DNA boost, and is that what occurred on Thursday night? A DNA boost would be something that is requested. We do not usually give DNA boosts just arbitrarily. We do have to have permission from the human to get a DNA boost or hybridization. Now there is times when you can give permission and do, if you are a, bu a very busy person that you can talk to us in your sleep or at night or, or have great desires for it that we might understand but no, you did not have anything recently. Are you talking for yourself? Correct. You did have an energy boost, however. They saw the necessary need for a small infusion of vitamins and minerals for you, and that they did do. Thank you. Take care. Um, George. Just, George. Oh, George is oh, next. Oh, sorry, Serena. Sorry. Oh, I just wanted to um, get more information if you have it. I don't know. I was thinking of the race, George. This is maybe someone else who would come in. Um, it's the elephant race who's the commander of the fleet helping Gaia send. We do not have contact with the elephant race. We know of their whereabouts. And we know that they are helping with the Earth, but they do not contact us or return any of our contacts. We are not sure why, but we do love them and know that they are helping Gaia ascend. They have their own agenda for this, and they are helping individuals every day. However, as an alliance, they do not contact us. For individuals on Earth, they do. Now, we would like to get in contact with them because we feel that their, uh, their thought processes are very similar to ours. Mm -hmm. That they are doing very, very much the same thing as we are doing in many ways. However, I believe that they would rather do it alone than with a group. But the most uh, we've ever heard back with, from them were greetings and that they could not speak to us at this time. Are you aware of what they're doing? They are doing similar things that we are doing, but uh, actually in a more spiritual sense. They are not helping with the earth to be earthquake free. or They're not helping with the weather, but they are helping with spiritual situations and they are doing channeling with human beings. Okay, and I understand that they're moving the earth literally physically as well as planets within the solar system closer to the Orion. They are trying to do this. Um, they are, it is only in a spiritual sense yeah, that they are doing this. They are not doing it in a physical sense. Otherwise, the planet, everything would not be working properly within the alignment of the solar system. However, spiritually, they are working on lightening the densities of the planets. Yes. Barbara? Barbara would like to know if she's been uh, to the colonies recently and what she okay. can do to champ. Not recently. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, did the question come wrong? Um, I wanted to know if I had been, if they had any record of my having been. Yes, you have been there. You have requested to go. You went once, and then you decided after that that you might not want to go for a little while. You learned quite a bit, however. You learned that your abilities, your healing abilities especially, are stronger than you thought. And now you've learned that, you, uh, that people have been helped. But they do not all often tell you this. But they did use you on Colony One to help with some healing in a Reiki session that they did have for Lyrans. Lyrans and Octorians do have a form of Reiki, and so do the Yugil, but they have not shared it at this point. 
but Lyrans and Octorians have to some point shared their Reiki. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Reiki is called X3 Reiki, and it is very, very powerful, and it is actually fairly dangerous in some ways, because if it is used improperly, it can be harmful. So that is why they have not introduced that to humanity, is because it is such a very strong, because it uses other other things other than just regular energy. So it is something to be considered in the future. Different things. Yeah, possibly razor. Well, I know that I know that they use many other things. I have learned how to do it. However, I prefer to do the Lyran over that because I find it a bit too it it takes more energy because it, you have to really be in a mindset for it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. But yes, you have been to the colonies. And I wanted to speak about healing because that is something that you are very good at and something that you are that you are interested in. And your telepathy is also fairly good. We would like to bring you back for more telepathy. But your healing is already been shown to be effective. You. You're welcome. Roy? Greetings to Kerr. Greetings, Roy. Just got a quick question, actually, relates back to the hybrid children topic. I know uh, as you are one of the people, let's say, dealing with hybrid children and a part of the Gurk Fitnir project. Um, how many other groups are involved with other hybrid children projects within you mean, Earth? You mean other alliances? Uh-huh. Groups, councils, alliances, yes. There are others. There are some that do it on their own and some that are in alliances. There are several others, but those people are aware because of channeling within their vicinity. Okay. There are smaller groups of people. They are doing a smaller test group, if you will, to make sure that things are safe and that things move forward in a positive way. So therefore, there are other alliances and groups. Ours is the largest during hybridization at this time. We have several hundred approaching even a thousand people involved in hybridization programs and even more with hybrid children. Is there somebody um, else we could communicate with if we wanted to get information about hybrid children rather than yourself? Well, at this time we are, well, this, the news, the recent news is that the Fendorians have joined Grukvik near and now are part of our association. So their their DNA will soon be available through Grukvik near. Yes. And therefore, there are two other species that are asking for involvement with Grukvik near because it appears that this program that we have started with hybridization is very valuable to many species and so other species want to be directly involved with us and so now we are dealing with new membership issues because others would like to join and are are wanting to prove that their DNA will be useful in our programs as well but the Fendorians we can mention because they are now fully integrated, but the DNA program with them has not quite started yet. Beautiful. Thank you very much. My second question is um, to do about the colonies, really, and if there's any updates or changes or anything going on with the colonies you would like to tell us? Things are status quo with the colonies, as you would call it. We have continued to take people in astral projection, and those that live in less populated areas seem to remember the most.
because there's less interference with government and different kinds of things in the air, airwaves and different self cellular phone waves and things of this nature all affect different portions of the travel. Yakawaki, okay. Umo. Those in less populated areas seem to remember more. Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's my questions done. Continue. Sinaida. Wuha. Wuha. My parents, sister. Hotiyako shopping to the open Chiapa. Tatakarawa. Hawashongawa. Titi. Titi and Danda. You are quite welcome. I know that your pain is severe at times, and we come and help whenever we can. So we know that it is also extensive. And so therefore, there are times when we come and just try to comfort you because we know that there is nothing that we can do without taking you sight to sight that would do much good. But what is your question? We just want you to be aware that we are trying to help you as much as possible with your pain and the development of a healthy outlook. I appreciate you all. I love you very much. And we love um, you. Um, yeah, it's confused. Okay. <laughs> my, my question is about um, the hybrid uh, living child. Uh, do I have two hybrid living? Yes. Do you know their names so I can look them up? Uh, no, I don't have one, but um, I felt I have two because of the, you remember the Lurin that kissed me. So, ah. one moment, yeah. please. The kiss was from the spirit of the child, not the child itself, because the child is still in incubation, but is aware of the DNA within the body. This is unusual. Yes. Um, the second question, um, in November, I was sleeping, and suddenly I felt like something very bad happened with Ahakitini and I was just screaming um, his name. It's like to help him, someone to come and help him. And suddenly, uh, Liren appeared uh, holographically in front of me. And she said, um, why are you so worried? Um, relax, because you are safe. Yes. And she disappeared. I would like to know who was she. Felianda. Oh. She has Thank visited you. many humans in this way to comfort them from fears that are unreal. A yeah. was fine. I saw Liran. Yeah. Um, my last question is. In fact, Felianda is here with you now. She is with you in your room at this time. Do you feel oh, her? She, yeah, she's welcome always. And could you please say hi to Mikina for me? The what? Hi to Mikina for me. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I will do with that for you, yes. And I was asking if. Um, you can bring my living child that I can see him with my third eye. We will do what we can. With the pain that you have in your body, it is hard for you to use some of your extraterrestrial sensory precision, perception, perception. And therefore, that is why you haven't seen her already. But just think, go into a meditation intended to relieve the pain long enough for you to feel the effects of 
her presence. You can relieve the pain as long as you want. It is up to your belief system to be able to relieve this pain. And I did want to add that to you because you can actually relieve some of your pain yourself. I realize that the physical body sees it as a physical element and third dimension is dense and the belief system does not always help with that. It actually hurts you because you you know that the pain is there. However, if you know that the pain is not there and if you know that you have perfect health, then you can know that you, the pain will be gone. So this is something that in your development as human beings that we are talking to you early about because we want to start that development early that you believe that you know that your mind has the capability and the the powers to cure yourself to cure your bodies of pain to heal your bodies of different ailments and different things and you are one that we would like to speak to about that because we know that you have much pain is that not correct it's correct and um, how's my orb is doing how's your what you orb. Your orb is doing well. It should help with the pain as well. But it is helping you keep to keep more grounded so that you can bring the higher energy into you. Do you understand that? The orb is for your grounding so that we can teach you how to help yourself heal. Because without the grounding, with just the pain, you cannot connect. With the grounding up through the fourth dimension, you can help yourself with your grounding. Wow. Yes, and I'm giving you permission to teach me Liran Reiki, and if Yayos would for like sure. to teach me the Reiki. But for helpful. right now, for right now, wherever there is pain, you have two chakras in the centers of your palms, a chakra on each hand, and put that those hands on that place that really hurts, and feel the igniting, igniting of the energy within yourself. Give the energy to the palms of the hand, and let it come in and relieve the end, the pain. Can you do that? Yes. Without any training at all. Without yeah. any training at all. The palms of your hands, the palms of every human hands have a chakra in, and it can give healing energy if they believe that it can and do it. Yes, I do believe. So I'll do it. Excellent. Thank you very much. I love you use all. It and use it. And use it and in your intentions, meditation. Make it even stronger. Thank you very bring, much. Bring that out stronger, all of you. May intention of meditation for your healing to be increased. And I will go into that more later. Thank you very much, sister. Thank you. Bye. Yakotu. Stephen. Hello, Takara. Yes. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Is it really hot where you are? Uh, yes. Yeah, it has been. Other than the little uh, tropical storm that moved through here uh, about four or five days ago. It has been very hot there, yes. I feel yeah. it. Definitely. Uh, much love. Much love to you as well. Thank you. I was just wondering, I found out that I had uh, 10 hybrid kids now, and uh, I was just wondering if you had any more info on uh, them and how is Stephen doing? Stephen is doing very well. He appreciates the fact that you used your own name for him and that he is growing to learn more about your 
the way you live and the way your life and culture is developing. He would like to teach you about his, and he will do so in the future. He is very excited to learn about who you are and how you are able to connect with the universe, as he calls it. Your other children, that is a long line of children. I would have to look them up. It would take very long time at this point. So let us move forward, and I will talk to you about them in private. All right. Uh, thank you. And uh, any messages for me, uh, uh, any personal or just from any? Yeah, there is a message for you. One moment. I gather that there is. It is about employment. There is something there on the horizon for you, if you choose to have it. You are one that works very hard, and, and you would like a change. Is this correct? Yes. They have something for you. Keep looking. I cannot tell you what it is, but you, if you look for it, you will find it and you will resonate with it highly and they will help you to know what to say all right thank you yako pota furuwo shindiata there is a blessing that goes with that because it is somewhere where you will need to be to help others as well it's definitely what i wish to do Diakapa. Continue. Tua shi kyo nua karua ta ton kosku nia shi. Halio tu shonu akatutun tu shi. Tio hanio shakatun nua ha. Torua la nio kunti shi okua takati. Shali ana kia sorua tani. Shon tuku aliana skia tua katatu. Your connections to Machu Picchu aliens is very strong, I see. And therefore you have found a great connection there. Tell me about it. Ah. And Al has found a connection as well. That is wonderful. These spirits that you have found and aliens from the past and the present and one even from the future will still be around you even in your place of New Jersey. They have connected with you because they know who you are now and they will develop a relationship. Their blessings come to you easily, and your blessings for their presence go out as well. Thank you. Uh, my question was. Oh my god, wait, Dick, he is here. <laughs> yes. Continue, it does not matter. If they speak for you, that is fine. Okwa na shionwa takatu kontua shiokwa taniki shiolo kontu na asiona na askata tolu atintio shu noru alan askia tatua. That was not a question. However, it was interesting. But go ahead and ask your question in English. My question was, um, Al did a drawing on the ground um, when he went into trance and he wanted to know what the meaning was. The meaning of his trance, he was being hmm, attuned 
to the the message of Machu Picchu. It will come to him slowly that there are more things there than actually history has written. Does that make sense to you? But he is being attuned to that information and he can use it in his life because he is doing menial work where he should be in management positions. Okay. When the entity came, it did some drawings on the ground. Yes. Mm, can you... Was, was one of them in a circle that revolved around like a swirl? Yes. Yes. This was the energy of the being. He was putting the energy there for him to be able to give the message. What other symbols were there? Was there a triangle or not? Yes. Yes. The triangle associated with the, the swirling um, energy is a power symbol. It is to let him know that his power is coming. The energy is coming and it will be as a powerful thing for him. There is other symbols there, correct? Yes. Was one of them... One moment. It seems to be like... like a serpent in some way. But not exactly, it's too perfect. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. It is the fire serpent symbol though, which is that of a powerful, powerful, I, I cannot explain it all to you right now, but it will come to him that the, power, the fire serpent is of a Reiki origin from Tibet in Reiki and he will understand that the fire serpent is a teacher and a giver of great power. It's not the serpent that he got yesterday. It's not the serpent that he got? I do not understand. No, it's that the serpent that he yeah. put within him yesterday. Yeah. And it is a good sign. Okay. Um, then uh, the other thing I wanted to ask you is I spoke a particular language the entire time I was in Machu Picchu. Yeah. Could you yeah. tell me which language that was? And why? Speak some of it to me. I was busy with my part of the universe. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Uh, that is a very interesting language. <laughs> and it, it is... Um, I'm going to ask if I am allowed to give it to you. Ah... There is someone here with me. I'm going to leave now because someone else must come in. Okay. But they will give you the answer to the question because they are... knowing of many things. Yo, Kata, Namaste, Kumoti. Namaste.
はあ。You are speaking the language of the fifth realm of angels. Oh. Welcome. Thank you. Is, is there a reason why I was speaking it on Machu Picchu? Yes. They were protecting you from the, the negativity that is there as well. It is not all positive there. There is some negativity. And those that fought against the aliens that were there were the negative force. They did not want to give up their traditions and their lives to worship these beings. But these beings did not ask to be worshipped. But they only be, were there to help and to give them understanding of spirituality in a greater way, an understanding of a greater life. However, they became too powerful with the people. And the people did worship them, and they did enjoy it. And therefore, it became a time of diversity, a time of division. And therefore, the angel was there to help you. Because you could pick up those vibrations of the negative sort, but you were only supposed to pick up those things that were necessary for your growth and for the understanding of mankind. Okay. Um, on, on Sunday, I had also had um, my dreams. The whole night was dreams about Machu Picchu and it almost felt like I was in a trance kind of state even within my dream, and I kept waking up and speaking a language. Were you experiencing portions of their history? Yes, and in another one, uh, one of one of the dream was um, something about a museum returning to me things that belong to me. <laughs> in time. Um. Then the other one, it was there were ETs involved, and they were there. And then when I woke up, I was speaking an ET language. Yes, these will be told to you later. But for right now, do not forget the experiences and what they felt like. Okay, because that was it. All felt more like it didn't feel exactly like a dream. And um, these things will come to you and will be explained. But for okay. now, just bask in the understanding that you were given a great insight from Machu Picchu. You were given a great gift by them. You and Al both were given gifts from, from time periods not yet seen and time periods forgotten. Can, can you tell us who were the ETs involved in Machu Picchu? I cannot tell you that because that would make a huge difference in your in your history and it would be translated all over the earth and people would decide for themselves the outcome of what Machu Picchu means and so therefore not knowing who it was is actually better for the timeline. Mm. Now, I feel more connected to um, the stones that were perfectly <laughs> of placed. Course. Yes, they were perfectly placed. Yes, so I. That Did you was... feel the energy of the stones? Yes. Did they actually bring about some of your trance? No. Um. But I did feel the energy, and I did feel the connection with those, the uh, 
other stones, I didn't feel any connection to them. Is there a reason for that? Well, those stones, yes. They, if you were in the right frame of mind, would have put you in a trance state and would have brought you more history. However, at the time that you were with these stones, there was other things happening, so they were not able to get that that attuned to you and you were not able to get uh, that attuned to them and did not you did not even know that they could have that property so it was all right they will speak to you later okay um the other i i mean i i did get little insights when people were speaking that some of the information they were given was incorrect yeah um that is all right. It is what they believe happened. It all some of it is speculation. Okay. Um, is there anything else you can tell us about Machu Picchu? It is a powerful center. It is attached to all the other powerful sites in the world. They are all together in their vibration of moving forward and will have a great meaning to the people of earth at one time not that they do not have a meaning at this time but they will be reactivated in some ways in their own time okay. to be purposed for what they were meant to be purposed for um, in the uh, she's bedroom I believe there were symbols there they were not they're not present like there's things missing am I correct in that correct um, I had seen a circle with um, a line going through the s middle of it out um, can you tell me anything about that yes that is the that is speaking of the division of the people. They once were whole, and the line is the division between them. And there is no way to get from the one side to the other because the beliefs were so distinctly different. And therefore, the whole was divided. Okay. And my last question is, um, yesterday I was told I am there priestess of the moon you are the positive priestess there is a negative priestess as well mm. I will not go into that at this time yeah, you are fine. in you are a dualism with her okay and can you tell me my name there or no Not at this time. Okay. And can you tell me who you are? I'm Metatron. Mm. Okay. But All usually right. I am only here for healing and only here for talking about things of spiritual nature. But I saw that Gurr had to leave and that you had many questions. But now we will move into a different realm of understanding and a different topic, if you will. I would yes. like to talk about the healing that Tukur started to talk about and did not finish. Because there is so much energy within the human body and within the realms of space and earth that you cannot possibly imagine. And yes, the beginnings of healing of oneself and others has just begun. The energies will be greater than they are now. The energies will bring themselves into an understanding once you as a species understand that the third dimension is not limited. It is not limited. You feel the limitations of the, the, the body. I, I understand this being here she understands that the third dimension has no limits. Is that not correct? Yes. She feels that you also understand that because you are a medium and you've been to the body all through it. 
in many senses and in the mental parts of it. And you understand where the different messages of the body come from. And you can understand that that can push out and change third dimension. Do you not? Yes. Yes. There are many here that understand. That yes. And this is a possibility. I am here just to begin the thought process. Begin to stimulate that portion of the third dimensional brain that is aware of these things. Let me stimulate the portion of your brain that is aware of these things. Think about these things. Attune yourself to health. Attune yourself to other health. Because you control more than just your energy. You are God in here, connected to what? Other pieces of God everywhere. So can you speak to that part of them? Absolutely. Absolutely. It may be covered. It may be darkened. But you can still get through to it because it identifies with who you are. It identifies with who you are. The species that you are. The thought processes that are lying dormant within you. Because if you had all of them awakened at once, you would be too advanced. And you would want to be worshipped, and that is not why you are here. The growing period is essential to the integrity of what you become. Do you understand that? This integrity of greatness has to open slowly because that is the only way it will be utilized properly in the universe. But now, I digress. The healing principles that you are now using, yes, they are part of creation. Think of your healing as creativity. You are bringing to life something that does not exist, health that did not exist there, you have helped to create. Pain that exists, you are bringing in comfort. That is creating. That is part of creation. When you heal, you are creating a different scenario of what the being was before you started. There is less pain, more comfort. You are creating that. You are creating together within your spiritual realms, within your energy realms, those things that cause positivity. Do you create positivity? Of course you do. Your fire burns in a positive way to burn out those things that are negative, do they not? But sometimes it pushes so much deep that the flame doesn't burn as high, doesn't feel the heat, doesn't feel the comfort and the confidence to burn away those things that are around. But let me tell you, the God element, the God heat, the God understanding, connected through the brain, through the higher self, the source, wherever you want to call it, can burn away the darkness. You have that ability. I have seen it. I know where you're going. I can 
intrigue you enough to make you want to think about these places in your brain that will help healing and understanding and wisdom and the many things of creation that you do. Everything that you do is creation, even with some of the dark things. You can create darkness if you want. You are a god. You create what you want. If you want the darkness to show someone how to appreciate the good, then you create it. Don't blame anyone else for what you are feeling right now. You may blame everybody around you, but you have the God element and that you can understand who you are and that what they are saying is not true or what they are saying is a creation to manipulate you. Creation. It's all about creation. Create your perfect environment. Healing is creation. Love is creation. Where does love come from? Where, does, where did it form? How do you feel it if it wasn't there before? How, how is it that it's there now? How is it that you feel these feelings that you feel without ever having felt them before? Did someone explain them to you? I think not. You created them within the realm of your creation. That is power, my friends. My beloved children. I am just giving you a small, small indicator of what your, ab your ab abilities are. Because they're much greater than that. You have to even at some point, realize what you are creating. What are you creating for yourself? What are you creating for yourself? What is it? Is it something of positive nature, of growth? Oh, let it grow. Create. Enjoy your creation. Enjoy being a creator of good and wonderful things. Because when I touch someone and want to heal them, they feel the energy. And what is that? They say, oh, that's just energy just going in there. No. Intend it to be a creation. Intended that you are the creator and you're helping with healing. And you're bringing something good to where there was something not so good. So all you healers out there, understand that you are creating the healing. It is a wonderful and beautiful and positive message. Yes, I was meek when I came in and now I'm almost shouting because I am aware that you are listening. And if I can keep your attention by speaking louder, I will. Thank you, Mr. Sean. That's a beautiful message. Feel free to ask a question. Uh, we have Noha next who wants to ask a question. Yes. Noha. I see Noha, you. are you there? She is having some computer difficulties. One moment. Uh, she's dropped. Um, Shron, would you like to ask Mr. Shron a question? Yes, thank you. Thank you for your message. It was amazing. Thank you. Um, I, it's exactly what I wanted to ask today. I wanted to talk about um, healing um, or communicating with the infants that I work with, if you yes. have any advice on that. 
With infants, did you say? Yes. Infants are very receptive to your energy. Be very positive with them. Be very loving with them. And create in them a cre an attachment with you. That is what you just need, is to attach to their, their creative soul as well. Their fire is there, and it is so intense. When you are born, it is like you are the fire. So remember, attach yourself to their fire and let them know that your love is true and they will be able to understand that energy, love, creativity that you are having with each other. And there is not much to it. It's very simple. Children are very simple. In a very complex way, but very simple when it comes to love. When it comes to giving of self. Of course, remember this. They were in their mother's womb for an um, amount of time and they picked up many energies from that journey and so sometimes they are maybe a little hesitant to connect with your energy because they did not want to connect with some of the energy that they felt from the womb. Does that make sense to you? And yeah. so just as pure as you can approach them. Intend that your purity is felt by them. Much love to you. Thank you. Much love to you as well. Sarah? Oh, there is one more if you don't mind. Okay. Continue. Um. I was going to ask for my mother. She was hoping um, if there's any messages from another higher perspective, advice for her. One moment. There are times when you feel that you are not useful to the ascension, but you are very useful. You have a good heart. You have a good mind, and you have wonderful intentions. Keep moving forward because there will be those that you speak to and give great messages to of healing. And you will not even know that they have taken it into themselves in this way. But your intention is to help others as well. And this you will do. And this for this is your great purpose. And your love is so deep for humanity at times. It, you, you care about what happens to others, and you're full of the goodness that is spirit. Move <clears throat> forward. Continue to move forward. You are a great joy. I love that smile. That's I love your smile, too. <laughs> Sarah? Amen. Hello, Metatron. Nice to be in your energy. It is wonderful to meet you as well. Yes. Um, I'm very happy you're talking about healing because I've been, well, I just allow it to come out. It is, it is very simple. But intend yourself to know in yourself that the God flame, your soul, your fire, your creativity is very strong. And that part of you has the ability to heal yourself. Now, some people say, I have a contract and the pain is supposed to be here and this and that. Maybe part of your contract is to overcome the pain yourself. Maybe part of your contract is to understand that you are a godlike being and move forward into the ascension in a greater way. Do you understand that? Yes. So take your healing hands and place it on those places 
where you need pain relief or healing. Place your mind in a place without doubt. Intend that there be no doubt that you understand that the third dimension can be overcome with the God's fire, the God spirit, the God creator, because that is who you are in part. Yes, thank you. Um, are there any messages, spiritual messages, that my spirit guides or angels <laughs> that they would like to give me? Yes. There are some things coming from the outside for you. There are things coming to you, messages and thoughts and dreams. And Do you have many dreams? I'm, I'm noticing them now, but many times I'm still, like, I wake up and there's nothing, but then the ones I do remember, they're quite strong uh, yeah. with the hybrid children lately. They're telling me these dreams are significant for you. I do not know what they are. You said children? Yes, lately, like, the last two nights, well, two nights ago, yeah. that is. Um, I, I was being contacted by many hybrid children, it seemed, and they yeah. were trying to show me the stars where they're from. Yes. And I don't really know the constellations or star pictures just yet. Um, we'll have much to do with hybrid children in the future, and have much to do with them now because you do visit them on ERA in the nurseries. And many of the human colony women and men do visit the children, and they love you very much. You know exactly what they want and what they need because your telepathy with them is very good. Very, very good. Thank yes, you for I, that. I, Thank you. And I wanted to know the progress of uh, the hybrid children program outside of Gert Um There was some things that came up recently and I wanted to make sure everything was okay. There are uh, things that are happening outside the Grokfriknir dimension of hybridization and children of that nature, and they are doing all right. They are localizing their hybridization programs to make sure things are safe. Before, they were doing different things all over the world, all over your planet, but it was not showing up to be as safe as they are what they are doing now. They will expand from a region and move to different cultures one at a time instead of engulfing many cultures at once. It is better that they learn from one at a time. Whereas Gurkfiknir has the largest of all these programs and is able to facilitate much more and in a much safer way at this time for they have been honing the process for quite a while now. Mm hmm I just, um, I'd like to make an, like a public service announcement. If all of the people who have hybrid children and those who feel connected to the children, uh, if we can please connect to them more. Uh, they do need our help, the children and the parents. Uh, they would like our inputs. Yes. One of the mothers is speaking to me now. Very good, thank you. Does she have a message for me? Her name is Miz. She wants to thank you for those of you who come and do talk to them and do ask about their children and want to hold them and want to give instructions on how they were to be brought up because they are being brought up in an alien surrounding and you would like, some of you would like more of a human aspect to their upbringing and this is appreciated by them. They understand where you are speaking from, from your heart of love and caring for the child 
And so, therefore, many of you have said to them to hold the child more, to talk to the child more, to bring more artistic things into the rooms and make it less intellectual at times and more spiritual at times. And these are thoughts of great understanding and wisdom, and we appreciate them very much. Thank I just you. told you what she said, that's all. Thank you very much, Mish. Uh, I will pass the mic along. Thank you very much. I love you. I love Namaste. you as well. Really? I'm coming. Blessings, Metatron. Were you about to say something? It is all right. Okay. So, greetings. Uh, my name is Roey. Really? And I have two questions I would like to ask. Uh, yes. The first question is regarding healing as well. Yes. Um, it's come to light recently that in my, let's say, future, I will be involved with healing of the planet. Yes. Is there anybody within your realm, including yourself, that I may communicate with to get more guidance, communication, or advice on these matters? I would be the best person to talk to. Okay, beautiful. This is developing within you. The understanding of who you are has not yet been totally perceived by you. Your future is bright, and your understanding of the world is quite beautiful. You are a very patient and loving soul. You find much beauty, even in where there is very little. I find that amazing about you. Thank you. That's really touching, Mr. Strong. Um, if I want to make contact, I just say your name, correct? I will be in contact with you. Beautiful. Thank you. My second question or kind of statement is that Today is the solstice, and I will also be going to Stonehenge in England, upon it. Um, Another powerful area oh, yes. for healing. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, also I'll be going to Avebury as well, um, but um, Stonehenge, I'll be there for the solstice. Um, I have already made communication with stone before and received many messages. I just wanted to know if you or anybody else has any advice for me for any practices yes. or advanced techniques that I can communicate with the stones more. Ask them about the healing process. Feel the stones as they heal you in some ways because there is some part of grief or sorrow within you that needs healed and the stones understand this and will speak to you about it. There is something that is sad within you and you must release it and the stones are there for you. They are healing stones as well. They have much energy. They are creators as well. That's fascinating. Um, is there any time this should be done? Is there, because the solstice is obviously, uh, is there any sort of specific time frame or this can be done at any time? Your intention of the right time is actually when you are there. Intend that that be the right time because then it will be. It will be your time of intention with the stones, with the spirits, with those things that come with that place with that experience and you will have an experience you Personally. will have an experience and this is the perfect time the summer solstice is when the stones are at their peak of power and greatness well, it's going to be a wonderful experience so uh, thank you for that advice and um, blessings to you and the rest of the angelic realm. Thank you. Yeah. Dan. Hello, Metatron. This is Guru Dan. How are you? Very well. Thank you. And I have a how question. are you? 
Oh, I, I'm good. I, I have a question about an experience uh, that I had in my time uh, last fall where I believe some reptilians met me while I was sleeping and they left a mark across my left shoulder and I was wondering what the significance of that mark was. The reptilians are an odd species, but let me tell you that they are loved as dearly as any other species. They are, they do leave their marks for purposes. They leave marks on the shoulders, the arms, the legs, the hips, the sides, and the different marks mean different things. I do not intend to go into the meanings of this, but you are one to be watched by them. They find you interesting. They feel that you have some reptilian counterpart obviously and that your DNA represents some of the reptilian DNA that they treasure in fact it's the more advanced of the reptilian DNA and so you have experienced some of their emotional existence because you do have this okay thank you yeah, I was wondering on that uh, uh, that's, that's the only question I have right now. Thank you so much. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Noha. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, Archangel Metatron. This is Noha. Hello. Uh, greetings. My question is regarding my Reiki modality. Uh, I'd like to bring it to the next level. No? You will. Um, yeah, I had in mind like John of God, uh, his wondrous uh, miracle healing, something like that, you know, if it could be uh, granted to me. I cannot grant such things because your contracts are made in such a way that you grow into such things and not create, you are not created as such. But let me tell you this, as you are growing, and finding the different aspects of your personality. Right now you are very involved in family and trying to understand how you can move away from the concepts of past, past concepts that are no longer necessary for your life. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely, of course. And they are saying that your intentions must be a little more pure. You must be a little less distracted. You are distracted easily and they need you to go somewhere where there is no noise and bring in the spirits of the other worlds there. But let me explain something to you. In there, I see many things happening. Your thought processes are very erratic at times. Does that make sense to you? Fast, you okay. mean? What, does, what did you say? Did you say fast? That's what you meant? Erratic. 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 They come here, they go there. Yeah, they they you. move very quickly. From one place to another, you need to settle down. You need to come into a place of peace and stay there for a while. And then you will realize what things are coming to you. Right now, you do not know what's coming to you because of these different movements of the thought patterns. But intend that you find peace. Intend that you find peace in your meditations so that they may bring you the outer thoughts. But right now you need the basic peace and understanding that you are moving in the right direction. It is very confusing for me to even speak to you at this time because you, your intentions are in many directions. Intend for your peace to come to you and for you to be at one. And I will come to you then. Because there are things that I need to speak to you, but you would not gather it now. You need to be at peace. All right. 
can I ask you questions about my hybrid children, or it's off record? Yes. All right. The would know best about your hybrid children. Um, so I do not. It? I am in the realms of angelic. Okay, I'll keep but, so she and I could it. find that information, but my most highest need right now is to answer the spiritual questions and move forward in helping those that need that help. Right, great. Thank you very much. Well, appreciate you. Thank you. Casper? Hello, Metatron. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm honored to be in your presence. I am honored that you are here. I would ask you to give me some guidance for the closer future. Ah. You are one that moves about. Ah. bring to you those things that you most need. Right now you need the stability of knowing that what you are doing is correct. And you are gathering energies from different places in the world, are you not? I am, yes. These energies will be used to help you to be a healer as well, to also be a teacher because you will be able to identify with more than one culture, with more than one thought process, with more than one even sexuality. But that is fine. You are moving and doing what needs to be done for you at this time. And your trip to Brazil. the next place your Brazil. Ah, be careful there. There is many energies there. Yes. There is a diverse amount of energies there. Mm. Just protect yourself on the flight there, that your heart would be open only to those things that resonate positively with you, mm. and that they would not take you to the places where there are negative beings and negative resonations. Mm -hmm. That is your message, because you must stay positive, and you must stay as you have a certain innocence about you that is very quite refreshing, and I would like you to keep that as long as possible. Yes. So I can trust the guidance of my heart that I will only go to the places that I really feel like going, that will be the right places to go. Yes. Mm. Create your itinerary to be positive. Create it. Yes. Yes. Create your experiences to be worthwhile and teachable. Yes. Also, is there any places in Brazil that you suggest me going in terms of stones and water? For now, create your itinerary and mm. after that we will speak again. All right. To be too far in the future is not a good thing. Yes. Um, I have another question with a different topic completely about sex in the astral realm in my dreams. I recently had a very intense sexual dream and I was wondering is this just a little dream or is this actual sex in a different realm? If you have created sex within your dreams then it is created. All right. It means it is an actual experience just in, in that dream creation. It was actual for you, was it not? Yes. Then it was. Hmm. Very simple. Beautiful. <laughs> all right. Well, I think that's all the questions I have so far. 
And thank you very much for sharing your wisdom and beauty. You are welcome. Much love to you. Blessings. Sarah for Wendy. Yes, hello Metatron. I have a question for Wendy. Yes. And her question, um, she would like to know how the parenting classes are doing with the hybrid parents and if it is helping them care and understand for the children better. It is indeed. They are getting refreshing reactions from the children. They are refreshed by the thought that they do not, do not have to nurture all alone. Any kind of help is welcome. And they are creating their own reality about these wonderful new children. Mm -hmm. And you are creating it as well. Continue mm -hmm. to create the reality for these hybrid children. You are creators, remember that. It's one thing that I must emphasize for this day's lesson is that you are the creator. You are the creator. You are the creator of the motherhood for these children intended to be the way you want it to be. Yes, and she had one more. This was just for Takur as a statement. Uh, she would like to thank Takur. Uh, she comes in for all... Oh, she, she likes to thank her for all her help, and she sends her love to Takur. Very well. She has received it. Yes, thank you very much, Hanatrayan. Barbara. Hi, Megatron and Barbara. Metatron, Metatron yes. Metatron, I'm sorry. That is right. I have a question. Yes. Um, the reptilian that hangs around my house, yes. do you know why he is there watching me? Yes, he is your guide. He is one of your guides. Okay. Because you get feeling very down about yourself and your health, and you feel worth not worthwhile but yet he keeps your attention. He draws your attention away from yourself so that you can understand that there are others outside that care about you. And he is one of them. He is one that cares about you in a great way. You will never realize this until later. But he does love your animals as well and loves everything that you do. But he thinks that you need a greater expansion and he wanted you to ask that question. Will I ever get to I see him already. You will see him again. Honestly, and you will speak to him one day. You will speak to him one day. And he will tell you what he feels. But you must understand you are worthwhile. You are wonderful. You are a healer. And you can do many things that you don't even think that you can possibly do. I have enough confidence. You will have it. Create it. Let me give you a blessing before you go. Talasham Tiacham Ti Tia Si Am Foraton Sila Kasha On to Kurato Sundia Bata Pacham Shalom Pacham Shalom Fura Kurari Kishimo Dawa Dia Shandi Oha Be of great light. Blessed be you. Can I ask another question? Certainly. Uh, do you have any information on information for me? For my guys and so on? The messages will come. Angie will be our last one. Metatron, how are you? Hello. Um, I have been dealing with some pain. Yes. And I'm trying to work through it, but with your um, lesson today that I can 
heal myself with the pain that I've been going through? Yes. It's true that I can get rid of the pain that I have? You must believe it and must create it. But that is all there is to it. But believing is not so easy for the third dimension. Faith in yourself to be able to create this. Many people doubt themselves. Doubt is a great destroyer. Doubt is a great destroyer. Because when there is a slight bit of doubt, it blocks channeling. It blocks healing. It blocks all that is meant to, to be created. With that one tiny grain of doubt, it stops forward movement for great things. I know this, I've seen this, that is why I'm here today, there are those that need to hear this lesson. Ah, but doubt will kill those opportunities. And you say, oh, why did you tell me that, now I'll doubt. That is what you must overcome. It is there. You must know all the facts. You have all these emotions within you. You have doubt, fear. Fear is also a destroyer. And all kinds of negative things within you. Negative. We sh I hate that word, but it is true. But your positivity, your creation, your ability to overcome third dimensional weaknesses is so real. You just have to make it real. Find a way. Medit meditate on it. Meditate on it. Feel it. Understand it. Go into that heart place where you see that bright light. Understand the light. Because if you don't understand the light, you won't understand how to use it. Use it the way you understand it to be pure and useful and creative. Some people just say, oh, it's just the light of my being. It's just who I am. It's just, it's just God. It's God. Now try to bring that into some realism into your life. God is not third dimensional. He's every dimensional. <laughs> Blessings to you all. And I will be gone. I've spoken enough. Thank you. Could you do a blessing before you go? Uh, I would be glad to. Dash Fashon Tirati Pikatarwan Sasa Sasafon and Pacham Tura Iriatan Elohim Diki Kokoshiho Hiyamasa Torakunda Kuratisa Enkora Kasha Sifiatam Tura Tapa There are many of you there, and I give you each a blessing, and I give you each a part of the God that is within me, because I stretch it out and give it to you as part of who you are, because you are part angel as well, part created, that part which is God was created. Meria Sasu to Tikara Kaha. Yes, from the beginning, from the beginning, the very, very beginning, before the beginning, and beyond the past into the future past. I give you blessings. Accept them and bring them in. Let God, the heart, the soul, the fire within you, 
Let God see God coming. Does that make sense to you? Let God see God. Let God see God. Because he is to be seen. Much love. Much love. Kario kana na kyo to. Shalom to daraha. Shario kana kyo to na skuru kali kalio to no skaria kata to twa. Wonderful. Thank you guys. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hi. Hi, how are you? How was it? Good, good. Do you need your water? Yep, I'm going to get it. <laughs> really awesome. Really awesome. I think everything got addressed there for everybody. Sorry for people who couldn't answer their questions this week. Um, there's always next week, or remember, yeah. Jim can do private sessions as well. Um, just arrive a little bit early, <laughs> or yeah. if you did have a pressing question, maybe I can allow you early entry for next week, or Sabrina can, depending on who's here. Mm. All so right. Thank you for everybody in the room as well. I'm, I hope you got to answer your questions at Jim's place. Yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm still coming out of that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. okay. That one was pretty deep. So. Will. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do you want to talk about a little bit about what you did, the the one Tuesday. about the moon that you did? Holy yeah, fire. the Holy Fire. So on Tuesday we did uh, New Moon Holy Fire Manifestation, and you can watch and still repeat the process. Um, you can go to YouTube, uh, look for Reiki with Will uh, in quotation marks, or I think uh, they actually promoted me to having my... Uh, vanity URL, um, <laughs> and I'm maybe it's YouTube.com/c/reiki with will. Um, so what we did is we harnessed the energies of the new moon on uh, on the East Coast time. It was Tuesday morning, and we used the law of attraction and the holy fire to create an awesome event to help you create whatever you wish to create in your life. And it was awesome. It was awesome. So they can watch it again. Yeah, you oh, can, you can watch, watch it. Again and again. Yes. And, and it was Will and Brian, who is my next door neighbor. <laughs> and Kim. And Kim. Kim was uh, channeled Alma Talk with a wonderful visualization. Uh, so it's, uh, it was a beautiful thing. I, I would suggest everyone watch it. Okay, and get a pencil and paper ready because you're going to have to write down what you want to create. You want to, have to write down affirmations and uh, and it works beautifully. It's beautiful. Jim just knew he was supposed to show up and attend it. Yes, I just was the attendee. That's it. So I loved it. It was wonderful. That's good. I'm glad you got to attend it. Yeah, I was too. I rode with my next door neighbor, who was him and Will and Kim put it together. So well, you put it together mostly. So. Uh, but I wanted to also give one more hit to the this afternoon's uh, uh, event. I just feel that it's going to be very, very important. And if uh, if anybody is available, if they can afford the thirty dollars. I don't care about the money, but the Christian and Rob, you know, they they need their share. So I, I mean, not that they even care either. But it's um, I just feel that it's going to be worth it. Well, so, it's going to be a pleasure to hear Lakesh come through to uh, yeah. a wider audience. So just having Lakesh and having yourself on there, Jim, is going to be a magic moment. So oh, we're all thanks. really proud, for you, proud of you from Human Colony that, that you're doing this. And wish Thank you all the you. I just feel it's important. I think that it's, the messages will be good. And I have no idea what they are, but um, Lakesh always comes up with something pretty cool. <laughs> yes. So I I do want to encourage everybody to support Jim um, and attend. This is only thirty dollars. So for four and a half hours from 
From 2 o'clock to 6.30, yep. Yes, yeah, so it's very, very reasonable. Yeah, it is. So. so. All right. Yes. Would you I'm like to end? To... Uh, okay. I just want to ask you a quick question to Will. Is it periodically every week? What days are you coming in for your sessions? Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. All right. Got it. Thank you very much. I missed it. Yeah, no. yeah. Okay. So I'd just like to thank everybody who's watching on YouTube as well. Um, recently we made some changes to our YouTube, um, so we now have a few adverts on them. If you can watch the adverts and support them, that will also help Human Colony website support itself. So we thank you for the thousands of viewers that do view in every time. And just to let you know, we've done that just to help support our platform a little bit more. And um, just a big thanks out for everybody who tunes in and watches. Thank you so much. Would you like someone like to end in a prayer? Uh, yeah, Sabrina, we don't have very much time, so let's only do one today. Yeah, so I'll do the I'd angelic like prayer for two o'clock. Okay. Right, Sarah, Sarah, Sabrina, go then. Ta kanario kona katyon toru kolo koto asakioro na kia ka. Tario kono skuru akala tion to koto tua. Nashio corona catio coscariantio puto cutuaratua. Nashio coruana scaria catia landuru acata. Tosua calana nanacu. Tania cario con tu curua cata. Tasioro no scurua la de ti. Cioro nanario colocotono scario to catatu. Nasio ruana scarianta. Tio suaratana catu. Noruwa ka nakataka tu Sariya naka Noruwa naka tu antakataka It takes many existences for us to realize who we are in truth and who we are in the flame of God It takes many existences to bring forth the abilities that we were born with as an amoeba It takes many existences to write down the thought processes of the universe and to know that as we move forward the fire is always with us the creation is always moving us forward is always bringing forth another aspect of who we are in our perfect selves and we thank the creator for moving in this process so that we can feel and realize and understand in a way that will make us who we are in a perfect way. Thank you. Beautiful. Hey. <laughs> okay. Who's going to lunch? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Okay. Um, we've been human colony. Well, Org, and we will see you again next week. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Sabrina. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Much everybody else. Love. Everyone Bye, everybody. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, everybody. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. <laughs>